Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the spoiler-free section of my ISOM number one review. This is going to be a little bit different than most of the videos that you guys are used to seeing from me because I actually took notes to make sure that I was thorough and that my thoughts were well-rounded. Because it's a review and I tend to be just a critical person in general, I want to make sure that I put some notes down and thought them out before I come out here and just say some stuff and it gets completely and wildly misconstrued like my first Ripperverse video that got all of the libertarians big mad at me. So welcome to the spoiler free section of ISOM. Stick around for the spoiler section because we'll get into why here in a minute. But thank you guys. So to start off, and I actually have the book just balancing back here in a terrible spot. To start off, let's talk about the book quality itself, which is incredibly surprising. Ow. <laughs> Eric was not kidding when he said that the, the book quality itself, he paid for some really, really high-end material to make sure that it was something that was durable and going to last a fair amount of time. I... I absolutely believe he spent the coin on this um this feels the the okay so the quality of this feels like if you've ever gone to those like scholastic like book fairs and they have those really thick you know uh paperboard back books with really really thick pages in them um you know usually you put them in a school room and they're designed to you know uh, last a long time that's what this material feels like that's what it just reminded me of i could go get some of my kids school books probably and show you but no this uh he wasn't kidding he he built this thing to last i think that's probably where a lot of the cost comes from now when a lot of people go oh well graphic novels this that and the other thing um you know is it really going does it does it really need to be that expensive holding the book itself I understand why the price point is what it is now, because these are not your typical pages. And I, I really don't want to give you, hey, tell you what, because you guys have already seen this and, and this is no spoilers right now. Okay. But the paper itself is very thick, very, very durable. It doesn't, I mean, it's not inking on my hand at all. In fact, I can't get any ink off of it. I've tried a couple of times. So the book quality itself is absolutely superb. Eric was uh, uh, was definitely uh, not lying about that in any way. So that was the first thing that I wanted to comment on because I really didn't get into that in my um, in my unboxing video, predominantly because it's a little hard to do that in an unboxing video because well, I, I'm not gonna sit there and screw around with the book to really see how durable. But no. The book quality is fantastic. Moving on from there, as we saw, the artwork is absolutely on point. The it is it, it it's fantastic. The artwork is is penciled well and it's colored amazingly. I mean, that's what we saw online was with the with the the pages that they were released uh and the things that they have released was true to how they advertised it. There's no false marketing here at all in any way i think that uh, i think that it, it's it's exactly what they promised great artwork you know high quality paper high quality book everything on that front is just absolutely is absolutely great um the length of the book i feel is a touch short for one very specific reason, and I can't really go into that too much, but there was a scene in the book which I view as the um, the like the catalyst moment. I feel that that scene could have been a touch longer, maybe by a page or a page and a half. Um, and then maybe there could have been a couple other things in there for characterization purposes, but they really just they they didn't want the fluff they wanted to make sure that they're that, that they weren't going too much that they weren't bogging down the readers i mean they really wanted to make sure that it was just once once you're in the book you just you, you're off to the races right and 
they didn't lie there either. They said that, you know, once you get into it, it, it moves quick and they weren't lying. Uh, that gets into the pacing. So I felt the pacing was just, I mean, not quite breakneck, but very, very, very quick. I mean, start to finish, I think uh, I was able to finish. He said it's like 94 pages. No, I didn't count. Um, I think I finished it about 30 minutes this morning. I woke up and, and I actually went through and leafed through again just to make sure my thoughts were good on it. Uh, the length overall, I felt he could go a little longer. Um, I, I really do. I mean, uh, I, you know, I know Eric said he was happy with the 94 page uh, thing. I mean, they could have gone. They could have gone the full hundred with the story. Uh, and I, I, I personally like, it's like a movie, right? It's like the first time you see, you know, like for me, Top Gun and you're like, man, I wish Top Gun had about another 30 minutes to it. That's kind of how I feel with this, right? I, man, I wish there was just about another five pages, right? Cause it was good, but I just felt I, for, for it to be like really great for me, I could have, I really could have actually wanted more, which is probably not a bad thing to say, right? <laughs> so the pacing just gets there there's no fluff there there's there's no fluff here at all he has to introduce an entire cast of people not just isom so he has to focus on isom and introduce an entire cast of people and there is no fluff and that no fluff thing benefits the book and i think hurts it a little bit again we could have used a couple more pages uh to go over some things but overall that's fine um, the story itself was very simple. It's a very, it starts off on a very simple premise. And then once the catalyst moment happens, the story continues through, you know, uh, different motivations, so to speak. So I didn't feel that that was, uh, bad at all. I actually like that they, they changed it. I like, and that, and, and after that catalyst moment and the, the reasons that things change are because of Isom or Avery. Uh, his motivations change and which actually leads into his character and I kind of like that um, I think that that's uh, that was that was well played on on Eric July's part the way that he made the motivations adjust uh, at the catalyst point as I have been calling it that was really good actually I, I the more I think about that I actually really like how he did that uh, or or why or that he did that maybe not necessarily how but we'll get into that um and then overall, to wrap up my spoiler-free portion of this video, because we're going to go hard on, we're going to go hard into spoilers after this, to wrap up the spoilers, this book to me felt like the pilot episode of a superhero uh, cartoon from the 90s that they have been advertising all summer and I have been waiting for. Um, it definitely gave me that vibe. It gave me the vibe of going, man, I've been wanting to see this and I watched the show and I am just excited for next Saturday to come so I can see the next episode. Uh, I definitely felt that this book landed for me and it's worth the read. Just the paper quality and the artistry alone, I think warrants its price. I think that there could have been some different things done with the storytelling to, uh, give a little bit more characterization but overall there was nothing in this that was so like objectively bad that would make me go mm, no it's trash because it's not it is it is far 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 from trash it's not even close right it is very very good it's not quite great for me right but maybe that's just because i'm too critical of a of an a-hole on youtube uh but well, again i'll get into that in the spoilers but overall when I when I got done and I had that thought that like, man, that felt like a pilot episode to a cartoon when I was a kid and it made me feel like a kid again and remember that feeling, I was sold. Uh, and maybe that's just my brain and how my brain decided to work it. So for those of you who do not want any spoilers, this is your exit. Come back and watch the rest of this video after you get your isoms. But until then, thank you guys for being here. Hit that subscribe button on your way out for me, too. That'd be great. Now, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, standing in the right corner, we have spoilers. All right, that was terrible, but let's get into it. So 
you guys know the general synopsis of the story for those who are here all right let's go to the story start to finish the story start to finish is this um basically avery gets a phone call from his sister right hey this girl that was going that was interning here we offered her a job she's missing now he's like sis why are you calling me call the cops like just leave me out of this i want nothing to do with this well we know that she's been involved with darren and you know how darren is and also it's uh and i forget the name but it, it, it essentially what it is is it is this this lady who was always active in the community in the church community and whatnot and uh basically she's like look avery if you don't if you don't help me out i'm gonna tell mom that you're not uh i can find the name here she goes i'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell mom that you're not gonna help find uh mrs uh uh, uh mrs uh, uh what's her name's daughter uh mrs newman's daughter right he goes hey i'm I, basically i'm gonna tell you know i'm like it's mrs newman avery like come on you can't do it for mrs newman and the, there was a very very short description there of mrs uh, newman in, in an internal monologue and so avery decides yeah all right i'll go i'll go investigate this because it's mrs newman's daughter and if i don't my mom found out like this is a superhero and the man's just like dude i do not need my nope nope i'm gonna do it for moms i'm gonna do it for mrs newman i liked that sense of community there for avery that was a good character building moment right off of the bat i really enjoyed that so he goes in immediately goes over to darren right then we get this short brief introduction for yaira and the alpha core as he's having his meeting with darren it is very short very brief um okay so yaira we didn't really get about okay so we were 100 right on alpha core right Alpha Core is definitely some fed boys. Well, I don't know if they're fed boy fed boys, but they work with the police, right? When the police get overwhelmed, they call the Alpha Core. And uh, Yaira seemed to have, I don't know why she was caused on a ruckus, but she was definitely causing a ruckus and the Alpha Core came in to stop her. I don't, I, I feel like Yaira is uh, maybe from the wrong side of the tracks and she might have uh, some anti-hero stuff going on or I don't know. Um, I, I'm not quite sure yet. That could be a theory video to cover. Uh, but with a very very short i mean they are i mean yaira and the alpha core for as much for as much exposure as we as the fans like have been giving to those characters like i mean they were in and out like a fucking cheap date man it was it was fast um and i understand like i said that's where the no fluff thing came from right it's like eric was like we can't have too much fluff in here because we may start to lose the readers and maybe when he read it and tested it and the guys that he trusted uh to read it i'm assuming his team obviously who were reading it they were going man it's just too long it's just it, it just it loses it here and maybe it's not that those scenes could have been like longer maybe it's just what they had didn't quite jump. i don't know i don't know how big this thing was before but there is no fluff like i said and that both benefits the story and kind of hurts the characterization to a certain point right so the fluff benefits the story it hurts the characterization in my opinion um because not have but overall if i had to say i would say they probably made the right call not not putting too much in there they i, I err on the side that they they because nobody bats a thousand right so i err on the side that they made the right call not doing the fluff because it did benefit the story um it did benefit the story and the and the kicking off point for his entire universe here so after that we see darren uh, uh avery go he meets darren um this is where this is where we start to get into the catalyst scene this whole meeting thing and this is my biggest critique of the entire book i feel that the meeting between darren and avery was very very exposition heavy on the darren side on the villain side and there was very little back there there wasn't back and forth as much as i think there should have been between the two there was a little bit but avery went in like this is the mission i'm gonna cut right to the chase so on and so forth uh darren very darren was there were there i i feel that for the information that we were given about the two characters 
at this point and after this point could have been handled in more of a conversational piece instead of the expositional way that they went about it this is my biggest critique of the whole thing and it's just and it again this is where i feel that they maybe could have put a little bit more here a little bit more back and forth between the characters talking to each other about the different places that they are in life instead of darren fontano just kind of becoming an exposition jukebox for a page um at that point um at, at that point avery says hey i'm looking for this girl and and darren just flips he just flips i i am not personally a fan of that characterization this is not objective on my standpoint this right here, this particular thing that I am talking about in Darren Fontano's characterization is completely 100% just, I, I am not a fan of how they handled that. I know other people who subscribe to this channel who say they love him as a villain. They think he's great as a villain. I did not get, when, when the guy just flipped like that, I didn't get the shot caller that he has announced himself to be, right? And a lot, I mean, he seems to have built this empire. There are other scenes later where he shows, you know, that he can be that, you know, that elevated personality in the shot collar. But in the scene that they showed, when he kind of, when he kind of flips, I, I, I'll i find it and I will show it because we are definitely into the spoiler free stuff here. Uh, nope, 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 not quite there, not quite there, not quite there. Uh... Uh, yeah so we're sitting here uh and um he just kind of again he's expositing a lot and then he just goes into it right and it and it and it's this scene right here that just made me think okay there's i, I felt that that was a little too much for this calm cool collected shot caller to lose his stuff over this guy who thinks he's nothing um i and there's a little bit of jealousy there from darren and i understand where all the jealousy and stuff comes from i just feel that that characterization was a little off other people say that they love it again this is where we can agree and disagree as fan and have fan debates so this here this is going to be a fan debate between a lot of people i think um again yaira and the alpha core were in and out real quick so we go through this scene. They're talking in his nightclub. After they're talking through the nightclub, uh, you start to see the critical flaw in Avery's character, which threw me off a little bit. And then I kind of started to understand it through internal monologue. Basically, Avery feels kind of cocky. Nope, you don't. He's like, I came in here with respect. You disrespected me. It's game on. Let's go. And I'm like, oh, 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 we're, oh, we're doing this. It's like, let, let's let fucking go. Like we're like right now. Okay. Um, and it just seemed, and at that point, the motivation for uh, Darren was less to find out about where this young girl went and more to basically heal his wounded pride. Um, I like that they did the motivation switch there, and I like that they give this personality trait to Avery because it's always great for your heroes to have a flaw. And once the heroes have the flaw, you can work on that and build from somewhere. I just didn't like the way that they explained it in the book. That's really it. After this scene takes off, uh, Avery ends up, he bumps, uh, he gets thrown out by Santuan, gets tossed out. Um, after, you know, he bruises up a couple of the other guys, Santuan punts him out. Uh, he smashes into Yaira, who got promptly yeeted from the Alpha Core. And uh, basically, Yaira, you know, drops his ass onto a car. <laughs> and he gets bruised up, goes to the hospital, escapes the hospital, then goes, finds some clothes. Uh, and then uh, wants to go uh, back into, and then goes back into the bar to go get, to, to even up the score, right? He was disrespected. And he even says in the book, his motivations have changed. I feel like that could have been told a little bit differently than, a, than an internal monologue, or maybe it's just the way that they said, it. I don't know. 
Um, but outside of that, he goes in. You get some great action pieces in it. And then from there, um, after that action piece is done, he fights San Juan again. He has to, you know, he's got to run from the cops because they show up. And we get an introduction to uh, at that around that time period of some people who could probably be some major players in the future, which I thought was really cool. I thought that was I thought I was like, hmm, this is interesting. I like what they're doing here. I think that they're setting up a bigger. He's already setting up and establishing bigger bads than Darren in this book. I like that. I like what he did there. That was really cool. From there, the rest of the story, you know, Isom goes. He ends up, you know, talking with the guy who made his costume back in the day. And we close out Darren's portion by seeing him. Uh, and I may have skipped some things here, and I apologize if I have. Um, I'm doing this, you know, I still do a lot of stuff off the cuff. But, you know, I want to make sure that I, I it, it, it's still me. But we see Isom. In the costume and it is fan and and it, it's a great way to close out this episode then we get the end credits scene ladies and gentlemen the end credits scene oh. ladies and gentlemen the end credits scene okay norfrica holy sh okay so eric is introducing high level tier people right now here and immediately my life i was like mm -hmm, yep let's get into it let's get into it norfrica we see the nordic guy we see another guy with dreads in his hair they're a metal band they're out there singing to people and they're kind of using what seems to be they talk about not getting involved in the affairs of earth very often but when they need to and i'm just like is he bringing in gods? I think he's bringing in gods. I, I think Eric July just brought in gods. Ladies and gentlemen, the end credits scene. I I was like, okay, all right. All right. Now you've got me interested, Eric. Now I'm interested. I really hope that the campaign that you're working on after, because you've got to do the Yaira one right you've got to do it you've already got two in the fire isom two in the fire which i will read you've got yaira in the fire please for the love of god eric please you just gave me to speculate my favorite fucking characters holy absolute hell and because this is a spoiler section oh i gotta show you guys this is so good i'm not i'm not even screwing with you i'm not even i i am not even i'm, I'm not fucking around like i oh man it's so shiny it's so shiny i was like wait a minute wait and then it, oh yep so that was my hook right that was my hook into the ripper burst. and like eric said hey man if you're not interested in isom give isom number one a chance because it might introduce some characters that you are interested in eric Overall, it was, I will say this to Eric July. He, he's not, he's probably not going to see this, but I will say this. Overall, Eric, that was a damn good, that was a damn good first try. I have my personal opinions about things that, you know, I as a fan would have liked to have been explained differently. Obviously, I'm only one voice. I plan on having panels to talk about what you did here. I do hope that you continue to move if i said anything here that you're like hey you've got a point that'd be great if you take it but if you also come out and you're like no nah, that guy's a fucking moron he has no idea what he's talking about leave it on the table your success is due to knowing your fan base the way that you do and knowing how to treat people i don't feel that i wasted money at all on this and sir Get me some fucking Norfrica. Like now, I need that shit. Get it. Let's go. Norfrica, let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this spoiler-free and spoiler review of Isom number one. I look forward to seeing all of your comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you all in my gilded and in my locals you thought i was gonna say next time you thought i was go to the link in the description 
Gilded and Locals. Click there. Okay, if you never want to miss a YouTube notification, that's where you go. You need to be a part of those communities. I Locals is easier if you don't want to be a part of like the chat and stuff. Because Locals, I just say YouTube notification, click. And you don't even have to participate in my Locals. You just have to be there. And then all of a sudden, you're going to get a thing. Bam, a drink with crazy YouTube notification. You go, oh, cool. And then you know to go to YouTube and to my channel. And bam, right? Because YouTube notifications suck. Go to my locals. If you guys want to engage with the rest of the crazy verse, as people are so eloquently calling the, the people on this channel, go to my gilded and you guys can get in with all of the writers, artists, and fantastic personalities over there. So thank you guys so much for watching A Drink With Crazy, and I will see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.